Welcome to this week's edition of Mountain Outhouse. I'm your host, Jam Jam. This is the craziest shit to happen in running this week. This week's stories include, the best shit at the Hard Rock 100, Full State is won outright by a woman, and the Badwater 135 recap you've been waiting for. Let's begin with the self-named Wild and Tough 100, which took place over a two-day span in the San Juan Mountains of southwestern Colorado. 145 lucky souls took to the starting line, next to the large mining rock, and vanquished into the mountains for an epic journey only few will get to run in their lifetime, me included. There was drama from the start as last year's co-champ, Jason Schlarb, was spotted puking his brains out just six and a half miles into the run. This flu or sickness would take him out of the race at Cunningham Gulch, just at mile nine. Schlarb would later announce this week that he is now stepping up to and focusing on the Ultra Trail du Mont Blanc this September. This must have been a cursed year for prior winners, and next up was Killian Jornet, the GOAT himself. He fell around mile 15 near Maggie Gulch Aid Station and dislocated his shoulder. Being the GOAT, he of course just popped it back in and sauntered on. Also, thankfully, he was wearing his Solomon S Lab Sense Ultra Set 5 set vest, which also doubles as an emergency arm sling, according to at Solomon West Van on Twitter. The third prior champ to be cursed was Carl Meltzer, who dropped at mile 57 in Ure. He posted on Facebook that after 13 starts, this will be his last. He will seek out tougher races than Hard Rock and bid Silverton goodbye forever and ever and ever and ever. Dave Mackey didn't take kindly to these words and called Carl out on his bullshit. He posted in a comment, pity party? You got two good legs, get up and get at it. Damn, son. Don't tell me we need a counseling session between these two, akin to the pot smoking flare up a couple months back. More drama unfolded up front as women's lead runner, Carolyn Chevreau, who was running close behind the men's leaders all day, took an unfortunate wrong turn off Kroger's, circling in the basin below for about an hour before getting back on course. Her unfortunate pacer, Mike Ambrose, was caught up in a rock fall somewhere in this area off course and sustained a gash so deep it went to the bone and required multiple stitches. Drama alert. At the end of the day, the Solomon duo of Killian and Caroline overcame their respective obstacles to come away with wins this year, being the first to kiss that rock. We've got to give an Outhouse Nation shout out to our own Arizonan Robert Andrulis for his 10th finish of this historic race in 47 hours, 49 minutes, earning him the coveted Caboose Award, AKA dead last. Huge achievement, Robert. A record 126 of the 145 starters kissed the rock this year. On to another big race this week, we head to effing hot as hell Death Valley for the Badwater 135. We like to use the phrase world's toughest foot race. Who knows, but this year conditions were pretty brutal according to ninth place finisher Mark Matizic, who says it stormed, raising humidity from nothing to 60% in the midst of 115 degree temperatures. Brutal, bro. Japan's Wataru Lino won for the men in 24 hours, 56 minutes, while the women's race was won by Sandra Villanis in 34 hours, 34 minutes, taking the lead at mile 90. Gotta give a superhuman shout out to Harvey Lewis, who followed up his 144 miles at the recent 24 hour world champs with a third place finish in 26 hours, 45 minutes, which is super dope. Pete Kostelnik was also on hand for that double, but finished fifth in 28.18. The second race of the Grand Slam of Ultra Running took place at the Vermont 100. We'll get to those brave souls after we recap the winners of this Northeastern Classic. Now in its 29th year, Brian Rusecki again won Vermont in 15 hours, 12 minutes, with another race winner, Michael Arnstein, taking second in 15 hours, 44. The ladies race was won by Kathleen Cusick in a speedy 17.39. As we previously reported, there has been a bit of a change up in this year's official Grand Slam of Ultra Running, due to Leadville 100's new policy of not auto-entering those Grand Slam runners. Now Old Dominion can be substituted for Leadville if runners do not gain entry via the lottery. So after the first three races, we still have 19 runners alive, with 13 being knocked out with Western State's DNFs. We have to give special notice to Karen Bonet Notraj, who came excruciatingly close to missing the Western State's 30-hour cutoff by just a few seconds. She went on to more comfortably finish Vermont in 28 hours, five minutes. She is one of only three women still alive and the only entrant over 60 years of age at 61. Not only is Karen going after the Grand Slam this summer, 
but she's also throwing in two Iron Mans in the midst. This is some unbelievable shit, Karen. What do we even call this endeavor? The Grand Slam of Ultra Iron Womaning? Kick some serious ass. Grand Slammers head next to the Leadville 100 August 19th before closing out at Wasatch September 8th. Back with some news from the Northwest and beyond, the one and only Maya Ray Ray folks. Break it down. Thanks, Jam Jam. What a weekend. Am I right or what? You hard rockers think you had it rough. My wrist is sore from refreshing Twitter every second. Nice work, I run far. First, let's recap Mount Hood 50. That took place recently in Oregon. Mount Hood is awesome. Check out the views. I've been there and it's amazing. This run takes place on the Pacific Crest Trail. In the 50 mile race, it was a battle. Wait, is that? Oh my, ladies and gentlemen, friend of the show, David Laney. Patrick Reeves took first while Laney took second. Nice work, fellas. For the woman, it was Kylie Henninger first and Kate Elliott second. For the 50K, Dustin Frenta edged out another friend of the show and Seven Hills running member, Keith Laberty for first. Both were flying. 318 for Dustin and 322 for Keith. For the woman, Sarah Cotton took first, while Julia Montag took second. Congrats, everyone. Now, back to Hard Rock. So many great stories came out of this weekend. Here are some of my favorites. Caroline, taking charge early. Girl power. The tackle box kit. I'm doing that. Kirk with his 23rd finish, Betty with her 18th. Seriously, my girl, Katie, killed it. So happy for her. This one's really special, Katie Grossman. Killian and his shoulder. Good job, all right, Killian, nice job. Adam, you're going to make me cry. Dale, nice work. Also, I think you might be my grandpa. I mean, look at the resemblance. Man, hard work was awesome. It's now time for this week's Let's Check In With It. Ow. Oh. It hurts. Oh, my shoulder's out. It hurts so bad. Yeah, it's out. Oh man, your shoulder's out. We need a medic. We need a medic. You're done. You're not gonna be able to go on. I can't finish the show. Wait. Oh god. Yeah, you're done. Where's this medic at? You're done. Your day's over. It's really sore. Yeah, just hang in there. We got. Where's the medic? We need a medic. Wait. If Killing can finish, I can too. Wrap the shoulder. I'm finishing. I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. Give me a, a, a LaCroix. We're doing this. It's now time for this week's Let's Check In With An Ultra Runner. Wait, who do we have this week? You got Jamil. Never heard of him. Who is he? Hey, Maya Ray Ray. Mountain Outhouse. Jam Jam here. What am I up to? Well, I'm 10 hours and 36, 37 miles into the Hard Rock 100 up here, just topping out on Handy's Peak at 14,000 feet. Check out the view. So good to be alive. It's so good to be out here. Back to you, Maya Ray Ray. Take it away. Thanks, Jamil. By the way, Jam Jam, Jamil kind of looks like you. Maybe he is. I don't know. Back to you, Jam Jam. Dang, Maya, way to power through that newscast. You've got a hella bright future, Chica. Coming to us from Tennessee is updates from the last annual Vol State race across that aforementioned great state. The nonstop 500k road race is directed by the same sick RD as the Barkley Marathons. 
Okay, so you can either run this race crude or screwed. The only difference is of course the existence or lack thereof of a crew support vehicle. Lots of gas station aid stations, I suppose, for the screwed. Ladies, listen up. Local Tennessean and 49-year-old Francesca Mussini took the overall win while being crewed in just four days, four hours. Nearby Texan Kevin Gerdeson was the first man and second overall, also crewed in four days, 11 hours. In the screwed category, it was Matt Collins of New York State for the win in four days, 21 hours, and Karen Jackson of South Carolina in five days, seven hours for the female screwed win. That's a weird phrase. At the time of this filming, many are still out there making their way towards the finish line and overall cutoff of 24 hours or so. Congrats to new ultra running parents, Alicia and Chris Fargo, and the birth of their first daughter, Skylar May. If you want to see how fit Alicia was leading into her delivery, we've got a new film up on the Run Steep Get High channel. She kicked my ass on her home Flagstaff trails. Really impressive. Michael Wardian followed up his post Western States 100 mile race last month with a 520 mile the next day on the Placer High School track. He took this double to the San Juans with another double of a hard rock finish, and this time a 542 mile on the 9,000 foot high Silverton asphalt track. Props, bro. We have a new segment of the show this week that can only be called Ultra Dirt for its TMZ-esque content. A band of merry ultra runners were sighted by our very own Jam Jam, seen celebrating the loop around the wands. Let's go to him now at an undisclosed location high in the Colorado mountains. Jam Jam here, reporting live from the Hard Rock 100. I don't know what's going on. Holy shit! Jam Jam, thanks for snagging the inside scoop. I'm speechless. Well, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. If you have crazy stories to share or have some ultra dirt to share with us, tweet us at Mountain Outpost. Have a week. Support this show by purchasing this here pair of Jam Jam sunglasses. You know the drill, smash the link. Missed out on the glasses again? Still support the show by purchasing a sick Mountain Outpost t-shirt Sticker or mug, seriously. Smash the link. Subscribe to it, also.